Hi guys, so we're in the third month now since um, having Chloe and I can't help but think about the next time and how we want to be able to do it. Um, at first our doctors were telling us in hospital, don't worry about it, 38 weeks come in, C-section, all good, no stress. Then we had another opinion <laughs> from one of the professors who said that he would be on board us having um, essentially a VBAC, having a natural delivery, um, na a vaginal birth after a cesarean. So now I'm totally confused. So I've had moments where I'll think of both of them. I'll think of one of them and be able to turn it into something amazing and then have a think about the other one and turn it into something amazing too. So I'm utterly confused. I've got to be a bit careful. I can't think about it too much because that gets a bit confusing and overwhelming. But just to let you know where I'm at with pros and cons, I haven't really even looked into um, what a VBAC means, what it, um, whether I am really able to do it with um, what I've had done. Um, so I haven't looked into it too scientifically. This is just some thoughts that I'm having. Okay, so with a VBAC, <clears throat> I've had one of the professors at our hospital telling me he's on board. I took that as quite a big deal. I thought he would be quite a conservative person, so being on board I thought was quite substantial. The only thing that stopped me from having a natural delivery with Chloe was the embolism. The embolism hit and the effect was that it shut off my brain and my organs. I basically, um, my body basically protected itself. So there was no way I was able to push whilst my OB was trying to twist and pull Chloe out. So I physically am capable of doing it. I dilated to 10 centimeters. Um, and it was almost about to happen, but the embolism happened instead. Um, I am bloody determined when I want to be. <laughs> My negatives, so they're the positive, the pros and then the cons, the negatives. There is the fear of trauma that something is going to happen again. There is a fear that something else is going to happen to the baby. Um, I know I'm going to be going to a lot of support group meetings now and find out about a whole barrage of horrible things that happen to babies and it might just be a bit much. C-section. Uh, far more guaranteed that the baby, baby will be born safely and healthily and I will be healthy. Um, more control. There is risk associated with a C-section. It's a major delivery but I was able to deal with it quite fine. Um, I can organize everything with friends and family for that day so I can have family around. I can just organize things really, really well knowing a due date. Dale can have work organized, so can I. Um, we can have things organized so we have support from day one. There's kind of no waiting and wanting to make sure, oh, you can kind of come here, but then might be okay as well. You don't know if you're going before or after or on the due date. We were a day before her actual due date. We can have an amazing last dinner, you know, go out and have some fine dining and make a real spectacle out of it. Um... I will have far more confidence knowing the baby is born safely. There'll be far less anxiety, I suspect. The negative. No driving for six weeks. Um, that I'll be a little delicate for a while. The funniest thing when I was first told, just come in 38 weeks Caesar and it's done. And I was thinking, well, I've had the Caesar, but I had the Caesar and the first moments after the Caesar, first 48 hours, I was in ICU, so I was bedridden. I wasn't getting up. So I don't remember, to me the C-section was the easiest thing. You know, if it was just a season that I had to deal with, it would have been a lot easier, but I dealt with far, far more than that. So I know I can deal with that. I know I can tolerate it and my, back, my body has snapped back really quickly. My strength is still very, very good. Um, it came back very quickly because I was still very well toned um, before the delivery. So they're my pros and cons, and either way, um, oh, there was one other thing with the VBAC. I would be so proud of myself if I could do that, because it's something that my body is capable of doing, so I don't know which one I want. Either of them sound great. I think that I'm kind of asking people for their opinions, and a few of my friends have already kind of said... That knowing the hell and trauma that we went through, 
um, a season would be <laughs> their first choice if that had happened to them. Um, also, if I had a Caesar, you know, you plan everything, you get yourself ready, the house is immaculate, cook, everything's cooked, everything's ready to go. And my friend was great enough to say, you could get your hair done, you could get your nails, oh, all your nails polished and look absolutely, you know, fantastic to be, you know, having your baby kind of. And that sounded really nice. So each way I can make it sound really good. I have no idea and I'll investigate further and get some um, different opinions from different people and uh, only time will tell what will happen but um, we'll see. I will talk to you later. Bye.